Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to use exposed filters in views. And exposed filters pretty much allow you a front end way to change the filter on the fly. So we've gone over filters, and um, I have this uh, view here that's all the projects. So this view is filtering out by projects and by published. So it's only showing content that's published and that are projects. Well, we want it to uh, be able, we want people to be able to select what type of project it is based on the taxonomy that we created before. Um, if you recall in the previous tutorial, we created what kind of project it was, and whether it was development, design, or whatever. So we can now expose that filter from the users and let them filter themselves. So if they want to only show what, you know, what they want to see. So let's click edit this view and let's go into our view here. So in the normal place where we go to our filters and our filter criteria is the same place we go to add exposed filters. And keep in mind you can expose any filter. So we're going to add a filter right now and it's going to be uh, what the project type is. So let's look for our content uh, uh, project type. Where is that? Uh, project type right here in peers in project. We'll just add this to our displays. Okay, and we want this to be a drop down. So you could also have this be an autocomplete, but I mean, if your users don't know what they're going to be typing in here, you're probably going to want to use a drop down. So we'll click apply and continue. So here's our normal filter. And uh, if you'll notice at the very top here, it says expose this filter to visitors. If we click that checkbox, it's going to uh, bring in some more options, which is great because we want some more options. So this operator we're gonna keep this at is one of, and um, we want the users to be able to select a certain amount of these. So we're gonna click, and if you see it highlights. So to click others, if you notice you just click here, I'll go away. You need to actually hold option. So I want our main categories. So I have animation, tutorials, design or development. And I'll probably have some more categories. I've made some Android apps I want to put up here too. But for now, it's just these four. And so uh, it's choosing if we want to expose the operator. This is the operator, is one of, is all of. No, we don't want to expose that. We just want them to si simply be able to check which project type they want to look at. Allow multiple selections, N not for this one. We're just going to leave this as a simple drop dropdown. Uh, remember the last selection? No, I don't think so. Um, limit list to selected items. So if you don't check this, it's gonna still have all of these. But if we check this, the ones that we selected here are going to be showing up. Okay, and display error message. I guess that's if uh, the filter is not correct. So uh, this reduce duplicates. Um, it gives a little explanation here. Uh, this filter can cause items that have more than one of the selected options appear as duplicate results. Yeah. Um, I guess it's fine to check that. I'm probably not going to have duplicate results because each of these are sort of mutually exclusive, except for maybe design and development. Um, in that case, I guess we'll just check it. And under more here, um, administrative title, filter identifier, it's not something we have to change. So if I click add to apply to all displays, you'll see that this filter pops up right here and here it is. Okay, and one more thing we have to do before we're done here. We just have to click on Advanced right here, and then we have to go to Use Ajax, and we're going to want to select Yes. We need to use Ajax for this, so we'll click Apply, we'll click Save, and let's try this out. Uh, let's just check uh, Development, and then click Apply. And here are the sites I did development for that I've put in here so far. Tutorials, I'll click Apply, and then we have the two things I've done so far for tutorials that I've placed in here. So these are how you do expose filters. If we want to change this to say something else, we can actually do that right in there. Let's just click on project type, exposed, and then under label, we can have this just be, uh, we can have this say categories, because that's what I wanted to say. Apply to all displays, save. Now our label is correct. Categories, select, apply, perfect. Okay, well that's how you do an exposed filter and views in Drupal 7. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.